Has it ever crossed your mind how far Satan can venture into heaven? This question, intriguing as it is, has sparked a myriad of theological debates. Some argue that as a fallen angel, Satan's access is limited, while others contend that his influence reaches even the highest celestial realms. It's a topic that invites us to explore the depths of our understanding and challenges our preconceived notions. But fear not, for we are not left to wander in the dark. Let's delve into the scriptures to find some answers. The scriptures provide intriguing insights on this matter. Within the book of Job, specifically verses 6 and 7 of the first chapter, Satan is depicted in the presence of God and the heavenly beings. This suggests that Satan may have some level of access to heaven. However, the nature and extent of this access remain a topic of theological debate. Delving deeper, we find in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, Jesus speaks of witnessing Satan fall from heaven. This implies that Satan at one point resided in heaven but was subsequently banished. This banishment could be temporary or permanent, again adding another layer to the complexity of this issue. Furthermore, the book of Revelation, specifically chapter 12, verses 7 to 9, prophesies a future war in heaven. This war will result in Satan and his angels being cast down to earth. This prophecy seems to suggest that Satan currently has access to heaven but will lose it in the future. These scriptures taken together paint a multifaceted picture. They indicate that Satan has, or at least once had, access to heaven. Yet they also forecast his eventual and certain expulsion. This information, though complex, provides a fascinating glimpse into the spiritual realm as depicted in the Bible. The scriptures paint a complex picture of Satan's access to heaven. The scriptures offer valuable insights into this complex question. In our exploration, we've unearthed several key points. First, we analyze Satan's presence in heaven as described in the book of Job, chapters 1, verses 6 to 7. It portrays Satan presenting himself before God along with the sons of God, implying some level of access to heaven. Next, we reflected on his banishment from heaven as suggested in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 18. Here Jesus speaks of seeing Satan fall like lightning from heaven, indicating a change in his heavenly status. Lastly, we delved into the prophecy of his future expulsion from heaven, as stated in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verses 7 to 9. This prophetic scripture foretells a time when Satan will be thrown down to earth, signifying a complete and permanent denial of access to heaven. The scriptures, therefore, suggest that Satan currently has some access to heaven, but a time will come when he will be permanently banished. This leaves us with a lot to ponder upon, doesn't it?